Hello everyone, Adam here. So today I will go much deeper into LTL software defined radio. So I have a Linux machine which is something like uh, Raspberry Pi, but not exactly one. It is an uh, old Omega eConnect uh, based on Marvel CPU, one gig, one car. So you can use uh, Raspberry Pi or any other Linux machine, whatever you find. So uh, Today I will show you how to receive, how to sniff uh, information that are sent from the wireless weather radio stations over the 433 megahertz frequency. So I have uh, RTL SDR dongle connected to my uh, device and uh, I will be using a software named uh, RTL. 433 so it's easy to remember because it's the same as the frequency that is used by the wireless weather stations and that's the software I'll be using to show you what can be received and the uh, guy who was treating the software did a very very good work because uh, this software this program can recognize almost something like 100 of different protocols that are operating on this frequency. It can even uh, read the data from the wireless uh, sensors in the car, in the wheels, and from some car keys, from some other sensors. So it's right now, uh, at the moment when I'm showing this, it's uh, more than 100 of different protocols that are recognized by this software. So I encourage you to download this software, but you need uh, you need the Linux machine to do it and the USB RTL SDR dongle that I showed some old uh, movies. Okay, let's start. So I have this Linux machine. I have plenty of software here, but uh, today I'll be showing this RTL SDR. RTL 433 let's enable this one so it basically doesn't require any parameters to run you just put these and it should start to work okay first it shows uh, how many protocols will be recognized I think uh, there's an option to enable all of the protocols uh, I have antenna connected, uh, out to antenna connected uh, with the size, I believe it's 40, 34 centimeters, which is a half band for, the, for this frequency. And uh, as you can see, it's already receiving something. Uh, there are plenty of uh, uh, weather stations nearby, so I'll be I'll be getting something in a minute. I got some two packets right now. That's the third one. Uh, so you can. Oh, this one is having some problems. <laughs> it's actually it's a six uh, Celsius degrees outdoors, so it is showing a uh, wrong value. Probably there are some problems with uh, with the battery on this on this station. So. Okay, so we can see that there's a, there, are, there, there are different different sensors actually. So each one has its own identifier. But anyway, as you can see, it's showing uh, basically only two radio weather stations. Let's wait some more minutes to get some more information. Meanwhile, I will show you some more details about this software so it has to be uh, compiled it, it can be compiled from the scratch or it can be it's even available do some repos so you need to check yourself uh, that will depend on the linux version that you have as far as i know for for ubuntu and uh, some other popular linuxes that is uh, easy to download because it is already compiled and available in repos Okay, we're getting some more info. Only two other stations. Okay. These are not mine. I don't have one. <laughs> but as we can see, there's more than 
just two there's a third identifier so maybe there's someone oh there's a Philips out there we are getting more and more okay we'll see how how many weather stations it will capture okay so there's no there's no Windows version of this software there is only Linux one, but you can always uh, run some kind of virtual machine on Windows and uh, install this software. Uh, I'm using the same dongle as uh, in my old videos, so this is a new gen LTL SDR version 2, probably, as far as I remember. And uh, it's working pretty well, so this software can operate only on this default, but it's possible to change the frequency if you have some other bands that are used for the unlicensed communication, probably it should also work. Okay, so far we are getting four or five sensors, so this is 35, 105, so there's a plenty of them, even Philips. And uh, probably if I was in some kind of garage I would probably also receive some key fobs from the from the cars. Let's see if there's a, any other option minus H short. Oh it's disabled by default. Okay there are some more available use minus L let's see disable Oh shit, it's showing some debug data. So every packet can be displayed, every frame can be displayed on the on the screen and uh, maybe that's not that's not a good idea. Okay, let's check the manual. What we can do with this? Analyze mode, fit the textual description, that was not good. I does not intentionally enable this pulse analyzer, but I don't want to do it because it will throw a lot of data on the screen. Uh, you can change the gain, but uh, I think auto option is sufficient. And let's see what we have here. Samples to take. How to enable all the, the protocols? There are some disabled, I don't know why. Maybe enable oh minus G uh, capital G a capital G should enable recognition of all of the protocols. Let's let's wait now. Maybe there will be something more. Minus G includes those disabled by default. That should show all of the protocols that are encoded in this software. Okay, we got in the same weather stations as previously. No, there's something more. Springfield, temperature and moisture. I don't know. It's very cold there, so it's only in factory sensor. What is it? I don't know. Maybe it is from some kind of car. Mebus. Oh. There's a lot of it. It's getting data probably from some cars. Hmm, nice. Channel 1, moisture. It is an outdoor sensor as far as I know. But uh, outdoor temperature is 6 degrees, so I don't know when it is, when it is built in, but... Mebus. It's probably some indoor. It looks like a indoor temperature. So I think it's a good point to start with the LTO SDR dongle to to capture to sniff the information on the unlicensed bands. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of possibilities with this device. For example, uh, I also have applications. Uh, that can sniff uh, 
I believe information from the aircraft. Let's see. Akas decoder. That's the name. I don't know if. Okay, maybe maybe I will leave it for another another video. But as you can see, uh, getting these data from the weather station is pretty easy to do. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you very much. Bye bye.